Hi everyone, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Joe. And we are RVing with the Maracas. We've been on the road full time for 28 days traveling through Florida and so far we have no regrets about selling our home. In this video we camped at six places and spent some time finishing up some business before we left Florida. We hope you enjoy the video and look forward to meeting up with you through our travels. Well, we're leaving home for the last time. We closed yesterday. We've actually been living in the RV for four or five nights and it's been fine. We got everything in there, everything organized enough so that we can travel. The car is stuffed full and we're gonna drive five whole miles to a state park. We have visited this park many times because it's home to the Florida Folk Festival that is held Memorial Day weekend. This is a wonderful music festival to add to your bucket list if you have not done so already. This is the first time we have camped at this park. We loved the park but found it a bit unkept and there were many bugs this visit. I'm sure it was because it had just opened back up after COVID-19 and we have had some intense rain that brought the river to a low flood level. The river is beautiful and we enjoyed biking and getting our steps in while walking in the park. Next we visited Blue Springs State Park. This is a fabulous state park and is now at the top of my list for favorite camping spots in Florida. The park is famous for seeing manatees in the winter months. We definitely have to return in the winter. It's also a great place to go in the summertime in Florida. We loved our camping site. It had nice trees and on all three sides and is very private and shaded. The roads were paved for biking and walking. There's also a nice path to the springs and to the St. Johns River. We love seeing the garfish, the gator, and other wildlife. It was very hot, and swimming in the 72-degree water was very refreshing. We also got to visit with our daughter and celebrate Father's Day. We definitely recommend this park to you if you have not been there. I think it's going. It's going now. Say something to me. Hi. Where are we? Uh, Blue Spring, right off the St. John's River. In Orange City, Florida. Orange. Well, Joe's swimming over to the spring. So happy to have Rachel here visiting with us. It's always great to have Rachel visit us when we're camping, especially on Father's Day. Next, we visited Rodman Dam Campground near Palatka, Florida. We spent 10 nights here because we needed to finish up some business in Florida. I remember the camping area because I had been to this area as a kid many years back. One of the major negatives was the internet was not reliable. The campground was nice and there was lots of room to walk and ride our bikes. Specifically, there was a nice trail along the barge canal. We visited the Rodman Dam and this brought back memories from my childhood and fishing with my dad. My sister came over for the 4th of July and of course we forgot to take any pictures. We took a river cruise with Captain Erica on the Oklawaha River and learned about how the Rodman Dam is in much need of repair and many want the dam removed to restore the Oklawaha to its original state. The river is very clear and beautiful and again I remember boat riding, swimming and fishing on the river as a kid with my family and cousins. Guess not. Yes, that was a pot belly pig that greeted us when we got back on, from the boat ride. We'd seen him in the parking lot and didn't know what to think. <laughs> Finally, we enjoyed seeing the mother and baby manatee in the barge canal. She is nursing, I'm sure, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Our fifth park we visited is Lake Louisa in Claremont, Florida. We have been to this park many times. We enjoyed dinner with our daughter before we left Florida. After the rain one evening, we took a walk and there was a beautiful sunset and rainbow and we saw a turtle hiding in the lily pads. That rainbow became a double rainbow, but we didn't get a good picture of it. 
it was beautiful. And the sunsets are really nice because the lakes are small and you can see the sun setting and rising on different lakes from the campsite. It's very nice to visit this park and we had a nice treat one morning after the rain. I hope you enjoy watching the bunny that stopped by our campsite to put on a little show for us. Alina State Park, where we have been before, was our last park in Florida. We enjoyed a morning biking by the river and watching wildlife. Well, we're staying at Olino State Park. We're about to leave. We only spent two nights here, but this is a nice park. Nice and private campsite. Beautiful trees. Now it's rough dirt roads getting in and it's just dirt sites but still very nice. That's, we'll stay here again. We had our first Amazon package delivered on the road after we had a mishap with our old coffee pot. Bye bye Florida. We'll be back in the winter. We'll always be Florida residents but we won't miss the heat. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.